going back in history and scientifically, human nature was not made in a building. We were not made to be inside. And I always thought growing up, nature was kind of the better part of life. Going throughout, you know, a normal day can be very stressful and very, you know, people get worked up really easily in a normal work environment, school environment. And I always thought coming to nature was a really easy way to get out of all that stress and really just be a part with that other side of, you know, life that not a lot of people get to enjoy. Coming out to a forest and in nature is one of God's greatest gifts. To be an Eagle Scout, what you have to do is go through each step uh, in scouting from scout to life. You must have 21 merit badges and complete an Eagle Scout project and do a bunch of different service hours as well as lead as a part of leadership position in your troop. What we did was we decided to build this kiosk. Now what it is is just an information kiosk to give the public around here just a little insight on what's going on around the park as they pass by and see it. This project has deeper meaning than just putting some concrete in the ground and putting posts up. Throughout my scouting career, I had really one role model and that was my grandfather. He was, one, a really big part of scouting and two, just kind of the only leader I ever had in my life um, to guide me. And sadly, a couple years ago, he got very ill. We all kind of knew the inevitable end was happening. And in his room, he looked at me and he says, Jacob, if you ever need to see me or be with me or just talk to me, you can go to Jefferson Memorial Forest because in his room there was a picture on the wall of um, actually Paul Yost Recreation Area right at this trailhead. And that was kind of really a symbolization for where I wanted to go with this project. I thought what could have been a better area to go with than right here. It was one of the more challenging projects that they had given. but. I was willing to take it on just for that extra push to get my project done for my grandpa. The uh, forest really needed a opportunity to get information out to the public more. What we decided to do was put in this informational kiosk so the park could put in the information that they needed, dates, anything like that, um, so that when people walk by on their horses or you know take a stroll, they could stop by and look and enjoy what it looks like and you know look at the information that's inside. So the material process took a lot of time. There was a lot of shingles and big pieces of wood that had to go into it. And then we came out here and that took two weekends to get the posts in, two weekends to build the frame, and then two weekends to put the roof on. And it all started through with these two huge, massive um, planks that are 10 foot over 1,000 pounds of concrete in both of these holes. So what we've done is we put uh, a 2019 penny and then also what we've done is kind of engraved a little 346, which is my troop number. The roof is comprised of three different parts. First, we have a plywood sheeting that is on the bottom. Then we have a drip edge and then a cedar shingle roof. Those were incredibly difficult to find. They make it look amazing. And then coming more up to the actual board, this door kind of slides up a little kind of rotator. It holds the frame and you can put whatever you'd like on the cork board on the inside. Flip that down, close it, lock it, you're ready to go. Many people are gonna see when I put the plaque on what it means to a troop and to a family to have something like this. All in all, I really uh, promised him that I would get to my Eagle Scout and I would um, get to this point where I'm at. And I really think that the, the project and you know, where I'm at, I feel like he'd be proud. Mm -hmm.